the short speech will be done, the collective future. All right, thank you. Okay, I've been invited to speak to you for five minutes. Now, what I'd like to talk about is our collective future. And what, I, what do we mean by our collective future? We, as members of this planet, okay, we are here on this planet, there's seven billion of us. Now, the sad truth is, we've been on this planet, humans have been on this planet for 200,000 years. And for most of the 200,000 years, we've been rather benign. We've allowed um, the natural environment to stay as it is, and we had adapted to it. But as we got more clever, we had universities, and uh, we, we've learned technology and science, we got a little itchy and started modifying the environment, adapting the environment. So much so that you've changed the environment so much that the environment is at our mercy. When I was born, I'm 50 years old, yeah? There were 3 billion people on this planet. Now there are 7 billion. It has more than doubled in 50 years. Most of you are probably uh, less than 25 years old. But even then, when you were born, there were probably 4 billion people on this planet. And now there are 7 billion. So the thing is, in the past 50 years, the number of humans have more than doubled. And for most of the 200,000 years, there were only about um, a few million people on this planet. But right now, we're at this very critical stage. You're in, you are in a very unique time in the history of human civilization where you will decide whether this planet survives or not. It is people like you, people like us, people like me, who are the problem. When we talk about world population, we are talking about ourselves. We are the problem. Okay? But it's people like you, the young people, who are the geniuses that will create the inventions and the solutions to help us survive. So we depend on you. Now, it will be very nice if we had only 300 million people on the planet today. There will be less stress on the environment, there will be less demand on resources, less need to cut down rainforests, there's less need to clear-cut rainforests and plant uh, food crops or oil palm or whatever else. But the, the fact is, the world population is most probably, if things go on as it is now, if it's business as usual, it will be unsustainable for humans as well as other living creatures on this planet in a very short time, within your lifetime. So it is our duty to save this planet. And you have to start doing things, rethinking what we do, everyday little things. If we can make a small difference, collectively we can make a big difference and save the planet. So I think my five minutes are probably up. So there's something for you to think about. You are in a position, in a unique position, in the history of civilization to decide whether the human species survives or not. It's very easy for the humans to actually destroy themselves and then the rest of the planet will continue business as usual. It's very fine. Humans are not necessary for the survival of the planet, but the planet, but the human really needs the planet to survive. Um, if you've seen the movie Prometheus, I went to the premiere last night. Mm. To send one planet, uh, one spacecraft to another planet to, to colonize it took one trillion ringgit, okay? And it's really impossible. You can't take the human species to another planet somewhere else because we, there are things known as biotic associations. You can't take one species and put it in another planet. You have to take a whole bunch of other species which have biotic associations with us to bring it along with us. And even then, um, you can't take the whole planet and and take everyone in a, on many spaceships and send them everywhere else. So really, we have this one planet, and it's our duty to take good, responsible care for it, so that not just we can survive, but the rest of the plants and animals survive as well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. All right. Um